There are sharks in the waters of Cleveland, but you don't have to worry about them. Yeah, they're in a setting where you can watch them. In fact, there are people who swim with those sharks several times a day. Here's Leon Bibb with his continuing series, My Ohio. It is a place filled with not only sharks, but all kinds of fish. You and I will go into the water at the Cleveland Aquarium. Well, we won't go in. We might touch it, but we will leave swimming with the sharks to the experts. So take me to the water. Once chimney smoke belched from this tall stack in the Cleveland Flats. Smoke now long gone. Hardly even memory of it. But from where smoke once flowed from this stack, now float jellyfish, those wispy sea creatures whose dance is almost ballet-like. The bottom of the old stack is where they live. This is the Greater Cleveland Aquarium, home to thousands of fish. The hardest part is that there are so many living organisms in this, in this building, and they all have different needs. Fish from waters around the world in the Greater Cleveland Aquarium. Regardless of their species, the fish are all eye catchers. What do you notice about their scales that's different than the other fish? They're glittery. Education at the water's edge. We understand we share the planet with water creatures. Here we peek at their lives below the surface. We humans have responsibility for their lives too. If you don't keep the lake or river cream, they're going to die. They won't survive. The kids with you, they're having a grand time. Yes, they are, Leah. Yes, they are. Wonderful time. Including touchable times. The stingrays are circling touch pool. Touching a stingray? Sure. Their stinging barbs are trimmed, so no worry of a fingertip tap. Want more to feel? Try the cleaner shrimp. These ocean livers scrape away dead skin cells of eels or fish. By the way, we humans all have dead skin cells too, so we will give them a hand. The feeling was if ticklish threads were pulled over my fingers. Amazing stories of aquatic creatures in this one-time Cleveland Flats powerhouse built near the turn of the 20th century. 110 years ago, this was a furnace burning coal to generate electricity to power Cleveland's electric streetcars. Then the streetcars went away, and the powerhouse here died. But now the powerhouse is back, and so is life in a powerhouse. Life in abundance, fish from other continents, local fish too, waters teeming with life. A big attraction are scuba divers who do some underwater housework. They actually vacuum the sand, cleaning away waste and debris. Hey, diver, watch out. There's a shark. Wow. Ooh, close call. They are a non-aggressive species, so they just kind of leave us alone. No wonder the scuba people are at ease with these shark waters. But swimming with sharks is a treat for scuba-minded humans looking for waves of good fortune. When you came to the Cleveland Aquarium and they told you you would be swimming with sharks, what did you say? I got excited. In this section alone, thousands of fish all around and overhead. For the fish, this is home. This is the sea tube. We are watching them and they are watching us. You see, we all live together on planet Earth. The water creatures among us need naturally clean waters. Tammy Brown takes an environmental view in her job. The aquarium is for viewing fish, but also more in that fish can teach us lessons. They are a great indicator of when water is clean and how important it is for us as humans to keep that water clean so they can thrive and live. The humans and the waters they bring at the Greater Cleveland Aquarium are keepers of the fish, caring for them. At the same time, the aquarium tends the water itself, keeping it clean, aware for the creatures you see, this is home. One of my favorite parts of the Greater Cleveland Aquarium on the west bank of the Cuyahoga in the Cleveland Flats is the sea tube. The water is all around you. You are walking where the fish are swimming, sharks included. But it's more than okay with the sharks. For my Ohio, I'm Leon Bibb.